Hey everybody, this is Rido and we're back to Hearthstone. So last time we set, tried at 50% of my microphone volume and that was a little too low. So now I'm going to try 75%. The problem here is that there's just a lot of sliders. We're doing a quite late night. Can you just see that? Because of there. Alright. Quite late night playthrough because I'm waiting for Hearthstone to, in China Joy, announce something interesting. And I bet it's not even that interesting. Who do we have that's not? Hunter Wild. Wild, Hunter Wild. Play it all. There we go. So I'm waiting another like 59 minutes till it's 1 a.m. in our time because they said that the announcement was going to be at 11 PDT which I would assume stood for Pacific Daylight Time but then if it was Pacific versus it was Leandrin. I guess that kind of makes sense. My hammer burns yeah, with I'm holy fire. Let's the hunt hours begin. East Coast time. Obviously their main target here is China, so I would be surprised if there's absolutely nothing interesting at all in this announcement, and I'm just wasting my time. Um, it's the same day, so there's not really anything new that can be uh, talked about. Uh, there is this VR game I just saw uh, in the trailer for, and I saw cover it a little bit. Uh, what it called raw data. It's kind of cool looking. I mean, I can't deny that. It's it's kind of cool looking, but it has, it's probably the best looking Job VR done. game I've seen so far, and it still doesn't look that interesting. VR really was getting hyped, over over hyped, and don't get me wrong, maybe ten. 15 years down the line, everything will be VR. It seems like the new Nintendo NX is not going to be a console really. It's Reporting for duty. of a powerful enough portable thing that would then uh, also uh, plug into your job doesn't, maybe that would potentially double the number of games that would be on it because if it's only Nintendo and a few other parties that are going to release games for Nintendo consoles, at least if you only have one console, both the home and the portable, at least then there'd be twice the games mm. library. It'd still be incredibly small, but you'd have twice the games library. Get in there and it, fight, Megan! I don't know how it's going to work. At all, um, and it could all just be like back to your homes. Made up stuff from your game, not that I so far from your game or life. Job done. It's always the first time. Um, speaking of Nintendo, I watched the Metroid Prime Three speed run. And boy, does that game look like Halo in some spots. It, it Not really like just looks like Halo. Sure, it still has a lot of Metro. But you were fighting a lot of space. Reporting for duty. It didn't look like it was. And instead of the first Metroid Prime, which was mostly. Um, Bring out your dead. I got this. Oh, done. That could be the Tomb Raider effect again. Tomb Raider started, you were shooting nothing but animals. By the Tomb Raider reboot, it's unthinkable to shoot an animal. It's completely Nothing fine scares me. No. Except me. And then I looked at Metroid Other M, and 
Uh, it honestly looked worse. Reporting for duty. It had all kinds of weird oh. movements into it. And uh, the remote left and right. And then looked horrible. Let's see. I want to to master. have the ultimate thing here. Gee, I bet you can hear me drinking from my cup now. Maybe you could have always heard that. Let's see. Hmm. Probably heard me put the cup down too. Hmm. Gotta wet my whistle. Uh, uh, that's the beauty, the, the one thing of having multiple people on a podcast, if you can do it, is you can mute yourself and, and just point to somebody and say, you talk for a while. Oh! Or just ask somebody a question, get them talking for a while, and then you can take a whole break. That's how the Bombcast can be three hours long. They, they've actually, the Bombcast is now on YouTube with the video. And the first one looks pretty important. Like no reason. It seems Don't like worry, love. The cavalry's here. Uh, Reporting for duty. Plus, I just didn't realize how small the group is. It kind of is. Cuts the cavalry down after they split and everything. Can I take enough damage to kill everybody? Shall I crush you for master? And it's gonna lose it any way I play. Any way I play. Man, I I really feel bad for what's happened with Nintendo. Oh, one thing they kind of mentioned. Nintendo and feeling bad is the video game, the movie. I watched that. Well, I fast forward through it on Netflix. Like, me. The first person on video game, the movie that they was Wesley Crusher from Star Trek. He's Reporting for duty. Not really Voice acting as well, I think, in one of the double time things, but that's it. Let's see. Can I do this? Now you feel pain! For master! See, unless he plays something that just destroys the board on the ninth, eighth turn. I don't see how he wins. He has six little 1-1 one -one characters playing a Divine Shield deck. Hmm. Apparently you get a golden anniversary card back if it's your birthday. I didn't do it, but... I don't know. Yeah, he's not gonna get me down. He'll get me close. Golden, I consent. It's a pretty classic reboot. We're gonna play it so I'm like uh, at the last second to learn why he that's why Leroy Jenkins is overplayed and annoying is that when he works he works great and gets that final blow and everybody can see that uh, easily where somebody might not see the value of a one mana card that you play on the first turn and being super useful like the leper gnome for example I believe is a banned card only allowed in wild for that very reason hmm. 
I was thinking about if I did a skits, which I, Rexa I would never do. Versus Jane. A skit about what would happen. You asked for it. Uh, Let the hunt what begin. What people think would happen if Steam shut down versus what would really happen? Because it's so often uh, believed. You win this week. I'm gonna get a win streak. Even make it to rank 17 if we get lucky. Um, so, Steam has said if they went out of business, they could flip a switch on their servers and all the games you have would still be downloadable and installable and playable. And yeah, people think that's really true. And I, I, I believe their intention is probably that true there. It's just. That's not really how it would ever go down. Rexa versus it's not Anduin. That the light uh, shall bring victory. That Let one day the hunt begin. They're just gonna run out of money and shut the gate and push a button as they walk out, and that then all those servers will run forever on everything, unless they've actually invested in some kind of like fully funded pension fund to run servers for all eternity for reality. And, and that's, even if that was the case, those servers that whatever company was running the servers, almost certainly gonna go out of business after a few years. It's the same thing with the Xbox. Bring the out game. your dead. The Xbox Live. It's like, things get shut down. The Xbox original games, the original Xbox games, shut down. You can't log into that. The only way you could potentially do anything there is maybe find a, uh, maybe find a hack or something where you could oh, set up your own goody. server and know how to do that, which they didn't certainly release any of the information on what kind of server it was, what kind of data it was serving, where Kasum. that data is, all that uh, So, let's say game new, may owner or, see, or the boss at least of Valve decides he wants to shut the door. He could very easily pull a uh, a non the creator of Minecraft and say, well I'm just gonna sell it for whatever price you you deem <laughs> And so he sold it to Microsoft, pretty much with very little co negotiation and very much less. Now Minecraft is in the hands of my Microsoft, they can do anything they want with it. If they want to make Minecraft exclusive to Windows 10, they can do that. If they want to make support, they can do that. Do they really have to honor anybody's previous purchase of Minecraft? Really? I mean, they can make it impossible for you to be down they can take down the authorization servers uh, so that you would have to basically go find a, a pirated version to play the version the legitimate version you owned this document looks legally binding and <laughs> contrary to the license is written that way so so to get a little bit so at any point, Game Newell could just sneakily make that agreement. And it doesn't really even have to get announced too early, even. It could be only a couple weeks before they announce uh, it's under the management. Everything Game Newell ever said is gone. Is, let's say Game Newell says, we're running out of money. He tells all his employees, well, here comes the lawyers running to his office saying, uh, you know that thing you said where they could have all those games forever and they would never lose access to them? Well, it turns out that no done. company in their right mind would have ever agreed to that. We have no contracts with any company that says that. And the, the, all the game companies are already going to sue us if we even seem to do that like that. And so even if 
and Valve went out of business, they could certainly sue all the employees there and say, you're stealing our games, you're pirating them. And that's exactly how they pirate. They, the, you're just running a pirate server now. You're just giving it to everybody. You're not putting any effort. I mean, this is the same kind of fighting style we see with music and other in and movie industry. Uh, uh, says, oh, we're doing all we can. We've got the touch and ID system. We'll help you as much as you can. All you have to do is tell us tell us what what videos you think are copyrighted and we will take it down immediately. And they just go, no, you're just running a pirate. So you're suing you, you're suing you. Just because they want to. So, it wouldn't work that way. The, it wouldn't work because of the financing. It wouldn't work because of the legalities. And frankly, it just wouldn't work because of the workers. Somebody at some point would have to volunteer to work the rest of their life for free. Those servers run. What it would get down to is like, for like master. which of your Continue to make all of these things for free and continue to invest in all those things and um, and it's just not realistic. What they would really do is if they thought they were going to they would say they would have the accountants come in and say to their lawyers and say how much is it going to cost us in it's getting hot in here in dollars to maintain these servers for one month Embrace in which we make no new income because we don't sell these games. And they'll say, oh gee, that would be five billion dollars. Let's just pick a number. And they go, hmm, well, we have zero dollars now. That's Do you hear it's cool? So let's Let's shut down the servers now. Let's all clean out our offices and let's do like nobody, uh, nobody's home. Now you feel pain. Kind of Listen old. closely. Interesting. Let's play this guy. Well, actually, no, I don't. I just want to do this. Sadly, it just doesn't work with my schedule. People actually need me to be able to the day. Show my insomnia would probably work, and this is exactly how I used to play video games all the time. Uh, but, no. They, it, it just it doesn't work. It, it, uh, sadly, if you don't live in the United States in like New Rexa York, versus or maybe Pro. San Francisco, for some Doomhammer, of these really, really big the hunt cities begin. that also have a really big nightlife, things don't stay open. So you can't do simple things like go to the grocery store or. Uh, go go to the movies or anything. Everything just kind of stops at eight, nine, ten in the evening, and so like I am ready. It's, it's really ridiculous. That's the one thing I had kind of hoped. Overpopulation. Bring out your dead. Increased in just a having a doctor, uh, schedule of third shifts, first shifts third shift style schedules for the entire city so everybody was working everybody has employment see yeah you could I suppose if you force every company to have the same number of, of employees uh, you could probably solve the unemployment crisis but then you probably wouldn't fix the economy not, not that I really want to get into economics, but so what, what was the next thing I wanted to talk about? 
I want to get off the bow thing. It's like, just... My point is, people need to be realistic. The truth. If you yeah! want to save your games, download every single game you have to your hard drive, at the very least. So, like, download it to a backup hard drive from every Steam game you've ever owned. For me, with my four or five hundred games, that's gonna be quite a lot. That might be more than five to four and a half terabytes I have in my hard drive right now, so... I mean, it's possible. And keep it, and then... Maybe, yes, uh, after that first release it comes out, or they'll release a key so that all those things downloaded will work, but they're almost certainly not going to allow you to download them again. The, this industry loves... The scourge will consume you! To, they love to sell, sell you the same game twice. Here. How do I want to do this? Let's go and hit this. this is... Interesting. Yeah. Attack. Job done. Thirty more minutes till the announcement, and I'm hoping this. back into my headphones versus how much it plays back into the recording because OBS also has its own recording system and the light compels you I don't think I gained anything from those two but whatever <laughs> It, it's a lot of good. I sound weird. It sounds like I was leaning to the left, and now when I move a little bit to the right, I was leaning to the right before. That might be a huge issue too. Is just keeping the microphone directly in the front of me, and I may have to just switch it to like an omnidirectional mode, uh, just to avoid things like that. Then if I scrouch down and look downward, or if I lean back, and, uh, that might affect things too, but probably not too much. My eyes are still locked on the TV. The TV's wall mounted on the wall, so like my head and my mouth will be in the same point. Unless my chair is Cushioning goes down a little bit, but not, it wouldn't do it that much. All right. This one. Let's do this. Well played. Excellent. Ooh, that looks nice. Man, I am doing really well. How many times have I played with this deck? According to Hearthstone Deck Tracker, I've played with it 22 times and it has a 68% win ratio, which this is pretty nice. <laughs> I don't know what my next game is going to be. I need to do some paperwork, get some things scheduled. I need to menu, so the description box down below, I want to update at the very least that I'm using a blue Yeti tomorrow and I want to Look a little bit 
further in the game room. At the bottom of you to master. Now the I could put my recruit link for Hearthstone in there. And I'm thinking maybe not do that, but whatever. The beasts betrayed me. It's all kind of just dependent. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and So this guy will give me two fugans if he dies before this guy does. We're gonna be rich. One day I'll be a real knight. To be a little careful there, but not too careful. Uh, I probably <laughs> recruit link. If if I got a lot of friends through the recruit link and it starts getting ridiculous amounts of cards that would be nice the announcement here in the always by default now. I'm gonna have to worry about that. Let's see. Who can I kill? Let's start the system. For master! turn this around. There's still a few card combinations that would work. I, I don't think there's anything really in his four cards that could get 28 damage done in this turn. Did you bring but some fish? He certainly could do something. Stop me. Let's see. That's 11 plus 14. 14 damage he can do right now. If he could get us. Document looks legally binding. You die now. We'll go ahead and do as much damage to the face just in case he does manage to kill this Thaddeus with his three cards now. Uh, yes. Dark Stalkers? No, that's the fighting game. Uh, that I always confuse the name of the game. Fighting game. Like somewhat recognizable cat creature. Bring out your dead. Here we go. You die now! Signed in blood. Wait, what? So, Dark Siders 1 is going to get a remaster for 4K. Now, uh, it 
issues are abound with these remasters that have 4K textures. It's like, what does that really mean for me? Probably not anything. I, I doubt I'm gonna upgrade my video card so it's powerful enough to run at 4K. I was looking at like a Titan X and a like 1080 some of the high settings I, I had it at. And None may challenge. They were doing like 33, and when they went up to 1440 uh, resolution, which is about the one right above 1080p, then it, it went down to 40 frames, and by the time they, they keep going, they keep going. It was doing like 20, 20 frames per second. The higher the resolution, the less the power of the frame. I think I said those numbers wrong. Uh, when it went to 4, it went down to 25 frames or something. I don't know the numbers. But the point being that you win this right now the equipment just... up to 17 and so here's the this is the highest I've ever gotten here's the fear you pressing your luck until you lose and then you end the month on this I probably could there's we can get wild up to uh, if I lose one here I'd lose one star, star it would stay on 17 so then if I just don't play it since today is now the 29th for me, so you're talking, what, one, two, three days at most? If there was 32 days in this month? <laughs> I don't know how many days are in this month. I don't know what month it is. Uh, that is certainly something Uther. that I also want to talk about. I, I will fight with honor. Let the hunt And the first Let's game the hunt he made begin. since the company, the company that originally made it kind of went bankrupt and it got bought out by another company called Riot Games, and now they're trying to do something to finish that what was supposed to be a trilogy, if not four games. Uh, it, because it's the four horsemen of the apocalypse, and the first game is war, and the second game is death, so it was supposed to... The original thought was the third game would be a co-op uh, game that was... Uh, Job's done. Well met. That was with pestilence. Greetings, and, traveler. Uh, play. So I don't know if that's how it would still go and move it up to a fourth game. But the problem here with the up update in the League Master version is I just bought Darksiders, and I'm gonna be rather well frustrated met. if I don't get a match. Up to the remastered version. That would really suck. We've had good luck with that. Yeah! Resident Evil 4 is supposed to be patched. Job done uh, by the holy light! And uh, Skyrim, we know, is going to get a patch. Uh, I think on PC, you kind of deserve a patch. Uh, always. Reporting for duty. The best way you could get away with not well doing met. This and then selling the game a second time, I guess, would be to. Let's see. I don't want to do this. Um, By the holy light! Yeah! You could. You would have to take the game off for sale. Is my guess. Just take it off sale for a while. And then bring it back and say, you know, a next in the works like a year before it comes out. Me, the this remaster version is coming out like October 28th. So if I do get a patch, I can start recording it and put it in that month of November after then. Work well. But, uh, that would also give me a great excuse to play the game again. Oh, here's the thing that happened, and I didn't even realize it happened. 
apparently four months ago, Chair Games, the makers of Shadow Complex, messaged me privately on my YouTube channel, and I never got the message. They, they were offered me a Xbox code. They said, "Reporting for duty." It looks like reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. I recall. Chair Games was one of the people that actually responded to my Twitter videos. I did do Shadow Complex. Uh, I would have absolutely turned down that offer anyways if I had seen it. Because I don't have an Xbox One. And that makes that really easy to, to make that decision. But also, I'm not sure I particularly want to take game codes from from companies unless I could say I mean really really early access if it was something like that and I, I think I need to be a lot bigger before they would ever offer me anything like that um some job done yeah, if I had a really big following and a really big thing, I might take co a key to a game that's not out so I can record it early and then show it, show early access, actual early access, not Steam's early access where anybody can download it type things. I might consider it then. There's an actual advantage there that would probably get <laughs> I do kind of have to look out and do what's best for my channel to get views. Uh, Put I, this apple on your head! I think I do at least. Maybe I don't. At a certain point I want this thing to actually make money, so I think I do. Job done! But I never got the message. It, it must have gone to a different email box or got... Oh no, it, it was in the spam box. That's what happened. It was in the spam box of a section of YouTube that I never checked. Uh, and so, yeah, I totally missed it. So I'll just keep that in the spam box forever, I suppose. As uh, his reporting for duty. That's my first offer of the Let's see. Deal one damage. Non majorly in the living flame. Ah! Well done. If only they would kill this guy for some insane reason. Well, I think I've wasted enough time. That's going to be it for another test here. Um, there was something else I was going to talk about, but I've, I brought it up and then forgot it because I was talking about Let me think. Dark Stalkers or Dark Reporting for duty. Or Dark Siders. Who am I? Uh, None of your business. Yeah, I've totally forgotten it. He's got, he's playing the full strategy. <laughs> so, hopefully this audio sounds better. I will listen to it again. I'm not going to play with it for the rest of the game. I'm going to just leave it at 17 and see what that starts me. So if I do decide to play any more, I will have to play on standard. Play. That's fine. Uh, let's go look at the goal. The cards. Is there one that says golden card back? That we have collected. Hmm. This was ranking Achieving range 20 in ranked play for April. Uh, let's see. Golden anniversary is what I'm looking for. 
and where is it? No, that's the grand tournament. Here's an Overwatch one. There's a lot of talk on the chat right now of Hearthstone. Here we go. Solid gold, baby. Oh, solid gold acquired for a high level finish at an approved esports event. So I didn't understand the tweet. You only get this for esports, and that sucks. Ah, uh, it always sucks so much. It's acquired when you pre purchase a card pack of Cthulhu. It's like, I'm never gonna get almost certainly any of these. Uh, play three matches against players on the same local network. You must have at least three players on that network. Yeah, fireside thing, I'll probably never get that. Completing the Curse of Nisra, next round is in heroic mode. Uh, completing Black Ops Mountain, heroic mode. Uh, League of Explorers in heroic mode. Purchasing the hero narrative. So like, the ones you could get, I think, stop somewhere here. Right? Let's see. Yeah. So, I could get potentially seven, eight more of these, and it doesn't even matter. Well, that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps out. Again, feedback on the audio. If it's particularly something about that's not just the balance of the video, the uh, game audio and the microphone also definitely point that out but if it is just the balance of the game audio and the microphone it should be closer to getting the right balance I may not also know what the right balance is too because may, some some people may want to hear more games some people may want to hear more of me uh, I want it to be a little bit more of me than the game uh, personally because you're here to hear me talk. If you just want to hear the game audio, you can play the game yourself. Um, so that's my way of thinking, at least. Hopefully I can get all this audio fixed and working perfectly before I start playing the next game I decide to play. Also, if you want to support me, click on my name right over on the right here's the blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And for to follow me on all the social medias down below. Man, that is a lackluster wrap up. Uh, that is something that they're testing with YouTube that I'll, if they ever bring it out of beta, that we may, I may finally not have to actually do the wrap ups every time. And that would save me a lot of effort and time. Anywho, thank you for watching. Have a good evening.